Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Back with some more Shiro Nagasu Island. Uh, we just defused a freaking bomb. Uh, so add that to the list of things Akita can do. Uh, figuring out anti-venom for a snake bite, solving murders, defusing bombs. The man, the man's a jack of all trades. <clears throat> Sob. Thank God it's over. Uh, we're not going to talk about the fact that there's a demon roaming the, the halls and Giselle is a murderer. Uh, we're really safe. Ugh. I really feel like quitting my job now. That makes two of us. But why did you cut the blue wire? Was there any reason for that? Yo, cause blue is Aurora's color. No particular reason. But we were saved by a girl. Huh? Aurora was wearing a blue ribbon. Thank you, game. Yes, I, I did put that together. I thought of the red, yellow, and blue ribbons they used in the mansion. <clears throat> Thanks, Aurora. But, did Giselle know Aurora? Why? Yo. Is Aurora, was she a little girl and now she, they, like, they turn little girls into demons? Oh boy. Okay. Why did she use her name in the final riddle? <clears throat> what is the connection between Giselle and Aurora? And how does the demon of Shirinagasu Island fit into all of this? Darn. Even though I unmasked the killer, there are still so many things that I don't understand. Fuh. My knees are shaking and I can't stand up straight. Also, I kind of peed myself. Thanks, Nanako. I'm getting too old for this. <clears throat> hey, real. Is this bomb really not going to detonate? Huh? Oh, after the last wire has been cut, the bomb is completely diffused. It won't detonate unless the cut wire is reconnected. It won't detonate unless someone intentionally lets it. All right, then I'll take it with me. What? <clears throat> Akita, you, what are you talking about? Are you a crazy, are you crazy carrying such a thing? <clears throat> well, it might come in handy. We're not well armed, so having this kind of secret weapon might be a good idea. Doesn't Akita have his gun? It can also be used as a booby trap. But if we walk around with something like this, my anxiety will burn a hole in my stomach and I'll die. Still, better than a hole in the head, isn't it? Don't worry, I won't ask you to carry it around. Alex, catch. You're in charge of carrying that bomb with you. Real and I are in charge of combat. Maybe don't throw the bomb. What, me? All right, I know I can't refuse, but I'm afraid. Real, this thing won't explode, will it? I can't be 100% certain. It should be safe. Probably. Just tell Alex that it won't explode. Um, so what am I in charge of? You? <clears throat> Let's see. You're in charge of yelling, screaming, and making everyone nervous. I know you can do it. Grr, Akita, don't piss me off or you'll regret it later. Just kidding. Nanako, I'm still counting on your abilities. Your knowledge and memory will always come in handy. I'm glad you're here. Ah, uh, well, I'll gladly use my skills. Don't worry, because I'm always right beside you. Just don't get in my way. I'm glad to hear that. Huh? Eek! I see you're doing your part already. Hey, no time to joke around. I heard an explosion very close to here. Could that have been the explosive on the iron door? I'm worried about Akira. Let's quickly go to her. <clears throat> oh, jeez. What? The iron door on the side of the guest room building has been totally blown to pieces. The explosion also destroyed half of the wall. So there really was an explosive planted on the iron door. We definitely would have died in an instant if we had opened it. But why did this, why did this bomb detonate now? Did it have a timer? Perhaps it was wirelessly linked to the bomb in your room. It might have detected that the link to that bomb was broken, and so it detonated. I see. Looks like there's less damage over at the main building. The lights are still on there as well. The blast could have been directional. Perhaps it was meant only to destroy the iron door. It appears that this explosive was quite advanced as well. I hope Akira is safe. <clears throat> Looking pretty creepy. Yes, she's probably hiding somewhere. I guess this is hostile territory now. We should watch ourselves. Well, we're gonna do a little safe. Akira, are you here? It's me, Akita. I'm here to help. No response. Shh, I just heard a voice over there behind the bar counter. Careful, it's not necessarily Akira's voice. The creature could be hiding there. You're right.
Kira. You're safe. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll promise I'll be good. Please don't leave me in here. Hey, are you alright, Akira? Akira's eyes are rolling in her sockets. She doesn't appear to be aware of us. Looks like she's in a state of extreme shock. No wonder. She was betrayed by Giselle, <clears throat> who she trusted, and was abducted by that creature. I shake Akira's shoulders and call her. Akira, you'll be alright. We won't leave you behind. Don't worry. Uh, Akira? Is that really you? Yes, I came here to save you. Please, don't leave me alone. Being alone is so scary. I don't want to be alone. I'll never leave you alone again, I promise. Really? You promise? Yeah, I promise. Trust me, alright? Ugh, Akita, I was really scared. I can't believe Giselle betrayed me. I don't know what to do anymore. Ugh. Although Giselle was the killer, she tried to save you at the last moment. So don't be sad. Saving Akira wouldn't have done her any good. She's a cold-hearted killer, but she'd been with Akira for so long that she must have had feelings for her. But Giselle left me behind. Giselle's eyes, they were so cold, it's as if she didn't even want to look at me. Giselle was torn between saving you and abandoning you. Don't you get it? When she took you, that was out of affection. You would have died with us if that bomb had exploded, but this might have been her last act of kindness towards you. Don't expect anything else from Giselle. She's a ruthless killer. You need to understand that. You'll have to rely on yourself from now on, Akira. If you don't, you'll die for sure. Giselle would kill me too? That would be so heartless. Real is being rather harsh, but she might be right. You will have to rely on yourself now. I'll help you stand up as much as I can. Get up, Akira. Now is the time to be strong. You have to be a strong woman. Don't lose hope in a place like this. Yes. You're right. I'll get up. I'll get up and we'll do what I have to, to <clears throat> have to do to survive. But I just want to know, why did Giselle do this? Why would she? You know what? Let's find that out together. Akita, I'm glad we managed to save Akira, but what are we going to do now? I hope you weren't planning on just waiting for the ship to come back. No, they're probably controlling it. I don't think we'd be able to board it. What will we do then? We may have to contact your organization to ask them to come here and rescue us. We have so many enemies here, it might be our only way to get off this island alive. I agree. But as I said before, there are special interests in play at play inside my organization. If there is any contact conflict with those, we may not be rescued. Communication is, always, is also very difficult, so we can't fully rely on my people. Better than nothing, I guess. All right, we should barricade ourselves and remain hidden. This might be a protracted fight. I'll keep an eye on the weather and we'll try to communicate with them if the weather conditions allow it. <clears throat> huh? A phone call at this time? I don't think it'll be a friendly voice on the other end. What are you going to do? It may be a trap and they're trying to pinpoint our location. I don't think you should pick up. I could let it ring, but I also want to know what this is about. It doesn't matter. We're trapped in here already. Let's see what they have to say. All right, whatever you think is best. Who is this? Oh my, it's the detective. That voice, Vincent. I was hoping I would get to deal with you in person, but there has been a change of plans. But do not fret, I shall arrange a worthy opponent for you. A worthy opponent? You've gotta be kidding me. What do you want, Vincent? What are you planning on doing with the unlock code? Very well, I will tell you a little bit about it. Attaining such a success without having been able to tell anyone would be a hollow victory indeed. Soon, humanity will evolve to its next stage. This dude's sounding like Albert Wesker over here. A new world will begin, and the old world will come to an end. And you will be the first to die. Thank you for coming to die at the ground zero of the new world, Shiro Nogasu Island. Next stage? Ground zero? Hang on, what are you talking about? That's all the time we have for today. It will have to do as a last farewell. I'm going to be very busy now and won't have time to deal with you myself. Farewell, detective. No, Sen Aikida. That last disc couldn't even call us a detective. Darn. Was that Vincent? What the hell was he talking about? I'm not really sure. 
Humanity will evolve to its next stage. The old world is ending. This place will become its ground zero. I don't have a clue what he was talking about. What do you mean? You're not good at explaining things, are you? Don't blame me. What Vincent said was very vague. Evolving to the next stage. Ground zero. What does that even mean? In any case, it sounded like he had something bad in store for us. We should be getting ready. Yes, we should hide and barricade ourselves. Shh, listen, I hear something. Huh? Who's that? Someone opened the door. A humanoid figure? I don't think it's the creature, but... Is that the opponent he was talking about? If not, is that a survivor? Who else is surviving? There could be some people who survived being held prisoner in this mansion. Okay. If it's not a survivor, it's an enemy. That's unlikely, though. Why would they have opened that door so recklessly? They could have waited for us on the other side of it. Something is not right here. I have a bad feeling about this. Don't move. Put your hands on your head and slowly get onto your knees. If you make any strange movements, I'll shoot without warning. Can't he hear you? He's not stopping. What are you going to do, Akita? We'll soon be within his attack range. Darn, who is that? Did you survive being held inside the mansion? Do a little save. Do a little save. Okay, all right. Hey, can't you hear me? I won't warn you again. Come any closer and I will shoot you. This is your last warning. The only people left inside the mansion should all be hostile to us. This figure is likely one of them. Still, it could be a survivor. What should I shoot or what should I do? Yeah, I'm not going to shoot. No, wait, real. Don't shoot. Something is wrong. If it was an enemy, they wouldn't have appeared here so recklessly. I agree with you about that, but are you sure? If we don't do something, we might be attacked. That's why we did a little safe. Hmm? Ah! <sighs> ah, I shot it out of reflex. Hey, what is that? Hey, what? That doesn't look normal to me. It certainly looked unusual. It is also clear that this is not Vincent or Giselle. It's freaking uh, Jacob. No, wait. It, what is that? What? That's... What? Is that Jacob? That can't be. He should be dead. I'm very certain that he's dead. I saw Vincent shoot him in the head. I thought it was strange that Jacob's body wasn't left on the bridge. I thought that Vincent and the others had taken it with them. Yo, Jacob was a zombie? Maybe as he was dying, Jacob suddenly got up and walked away? Or everything that happened on the bridge was for show? I don't think that's the case. Jacob is not a Hollywood quality actor, and he didn't need to do that in the first place. Hang on, those wounds on his forehead. There are two gunshot wounds on his forehead. One is from when Akina shot him. Akita shot him just now. The other gunshot wound is covered by congealed blood. That one is from a while ago. He probably was shot there when he was on the bridge. Wait a minute. Does that mean Jacob, who was shot in the head a few minutes ago, just attacked us? Real. Can someone still move with that kind of trauma to their head? Yeah, well, yo, if it's a zombie, uh, he's got some kind of super zombie abilities. Don't be silly. They would die instantly. It's impossible. Well, there's a really low probability that they could survive if the bullet's diameter were small, but they would still have to be sent to an intensive care unit. It would be impossible to attack us like this. I can't disagree with that. But Jacob just tried to attack us. Could he have become a zombie? Are you kidding me? Neneko, now is not the time for jokes. Uh, no, 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 I didn't mean literal zombies. I'm talking about the documents I saw in the basement. In one of those documents, there was a text that said that the demon of Shirunugasu Island, N131, was immortal. This could somehow be related to that. I thought it was total nonsense, but... When I look at this, I can only think that it might be true. An immortal creature? What? What are you saying? Eek! Real! Darn, it bit my right leg. No! I can't believe it could move like that. Be careful, it's still moving. This thing, is it really immortal? I shot it in the head and it can still move? This is too much for me. If this is a nightmare, I want to wake up. Real, can you move? Let me help you. Stop it, your hands are full already. Akita, focus on your surroundings. Akira, could you lend me your shoulder? Of course. It's still moving, that thing. What are you going to do, Akita? Let's get away from here. We need to get somewhere safe. Follow me. Wait. What's the matter? Don't tell me that you're paralyzed again, Neneko. No, that's not it. 
There's a lot of blood in the basement. What if they killed all the people who worked in the mansion, and they brought them all back to life as immortal zombies? It's probably dangerous in other parts of the mansion as well. Ugh, it's not impossible. In that case, there would be enemies waiting for us elsewhere as well. But we can't stay here. Let's get out of here. Yo, Rills? Oh my god! Look at these zombies! What? The mansion staff? Just like Jacob, they're also... We have to get out of here right now. But where can we run to? Are they immortal too? No, it's impossible. They must have some kind of weakness. We can look for that later. We have to get out of here right now. We won't be able to fight a horde of immortal zombies. Akita, what should we do? We should... I, we should probably okay. Here's my here's my thing. Real's gonna turn into a zombie, and I don't want her to do that. I'm gonna reload because I've already collected enough bad ends in this game. I'm gonna reload. Okay, well here here's what I'll do. I'll save right here. I'm gonna reload and see if I can shoot Jacob in the first place to avoid Real getting bit. Shoot! I warned you. Huh? Hey, what is that? Hey, what? That doesn't look normal to me. Okay. I think it's going to be exactly the same. Let me, I'm going to pause and I'll get to the part where Jacob gets back up. Real gets bit no matter what. All right. So going with my gut, I think the best answer here is probably to go to the guest room building so we can close the iron door. Let's go to the guest room building. The guest room building? That building is a dead end. If the zombies come there, there's nowhere we can escape to. You moron, were you planning on holding a siege? Let's just go back to the guest room building for now. In the worst case scenario, we might have to barricade ourselves there. Hey, there don't appear to be any zombies here. That's strange, they're everywhere but here. This feels like an ambush. But there are no zombies here, so we can at least hide, right? Let's hurry. Are there really no zombies here? What if... I'd really like to believe that those zombies are too stupid to open that iron door. Yo, I never would have thought... This would turn into a zombie game. Right after I make the Albert Wesker comparison. I have a bad feeling about this. I hope we can get across safely. But if the entrance to the guest room building is blocked, we'll be stuck there. In that case, we're doomed. If we could somehow block the iron door, we should be safe from them. We'd be running on faith, though. Mm. We're running out of time. We should decide what we should do. Staying here would be too dangerous. Alright, I've made a decision. We're going to barricade ourselves in the guest room building. If they keep moving, they will eventually become tired. We may be able to strike back then. Yes. They definitely need some kind of caloric intake to be able to keep on moving. Otherwise, it would be like a perpetuum mobile. Alright, I'll open the door. Huh? Eek. Darn, are there zombies there as well? No, 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 no! There is no way we can get to the guest room building. Let's go back quickly. They might come here as well. You're right, let's go back. Still, this is very strange. What's strange? Ah, uh, nothing. We should go back for now. Darn. I have to make better choices in the future. <clears throat> leave the mansion? Let's leave the mansion. You mean go through the front entrance? What are we going to do when we're outside? Is there a place we can escape to? I don't know, but we can't just stay here. We have to get out of here. There's no time to overthink this. We have to go. Whoa, no, 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 there's a ton of them there as well. If we go outside, we'll be ripped apart for sure. Darn, we can't go outside either. Akita, we have to escape to somewhere else. Yeah, let me think. It's gotta be the dining hall. <clears throat> Let's go back to the dining hall. What? Zombie Jacob is still there. Where do I go then? <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, one sec. I had to get a sip of water there. Where am I supposed to go? Zombie Jacob is still there. He's full of life. I mean, he's dead as a dodo, but his body is still full of life. So going there would be dangerous. It doesn't matter where we go. There aren't any places where we'll be safe. We should find a way to defeat them. If we observe Jacob, we might be able to find some weaknesses. Do you really think there are any? Let's just go there. Eek. Shh. Be very quiet. Stay away from Jacob as far as you can. I want to try something. I shot him in his head earlier. He should be blind now. So the only way for him to pinpoint people is by hearing. If you're totally quiet, he won't know where you are. Oh, ah, Akita. Darn, he, can he see? 
Did his damaged eyes regenerate in such a short time? Even if I shoot him in his head or body, a zombie like him won't stop moving. Doesn't he have any weaknesses? No, I'm sure there has to be something. Akita, did you find anything? We should get out of here for now. Let's go back. Why? I'm going to cry. There must be something. Something. Yo, they keep getting closer to the to the front of the hallway. Uh, I, I feel like the guest room building is the best choice. We can't go to the guest room building. Where else can we go? It has to be the dining hall. Let's go. No, leave the mansion. Let's leave the mansion. The mansion should have a back door. But there are many zombies over there. How are we going to get through them? If I shoot them in the head, they will stop moving for a while. That should clear us a path, and we can go then go to the cabin by the harbor. If we do that, Nenika will probably not make it. You know how slow she moves. She's probably right. Akita, forget about this, please. Hmm. Darn, is my plan too risky? Even if we make it out of the mansion in one piece, we'll be in trouble when it gets dark. Akita, I'll give you a piece of advice. Let go of your feelings. If there's an emergency, you sometimes have no choice but to sacrifice someone. Listening to your feelings can get you killed. That's not how I am. I was only trying to think of a better plan. Sometimes you have to sacrifice a pawn for the greater good. That kindness of yours will be your undoing. When that time comes, I'll be ready. Yo, I don't want to have to sacrifice someone. But now is not the time. We need to think about different options. For the time being, we need to find a way to survive. And we need to find it as quickly as possible. You're right. I need to think quickly. This is bad. There's nowhere to run to. If it's this bad, we might just have to take our chances and run through them. Even if it means one of us might not make it. No, no, no. You're talking about me, aren't you? But if we don't do anything... Okay. This is... This is... This is getting crazy. The more I think about it, the stranger it feels. What are you going on about? We're about to die. The zombies don't appear to be able to think logically. Wait, could that be it? Their behavior is... They're here! We have to escape! Quickly! Akita! Akita, you have to decide what to do. All right, I think I know. Akita, what do you think you're doing? Make up your mind and decide where we will go. We're not going anywhere. Stay right here, everyone. I have an idea. What are you talking about? Are you out of your mind? Akita, what are you saying? <sighs> well, I can't take this. Mama. No, I'm scared. They're coming here. I don't want to die. Help me, God. Uh, please don't eat me. I'm not tasty at all. I'm just skin over bones. Eat someone else with more meat on them. Huh? That's strange. They're not attacking. It's as if an invisible wall is warding them off. Just as I thought. Don't eat, huh? What's happening, Akita? Can you explain this? All right. I thought about this during our encounter with Zombie Jacob. There are two things that felt strange about it. When we escaped from Jacob, the hallway should have been swarming with zombies. So why didn't the zombies come into the hallway? And why didn't Jacob leave the dining hall and follow us? Huh? What do you mean? I mean that they only follow certain patterns they have been programmed to take. If they really considered us to be prey, they would have all rushed into the dining hall. However, they didn't. It's as if they had been assigned a place to defend. Also, remember the zombies in the guest room building? If they really were trying to get to us, wouldn't they make their way to that iron door and go to the guest room building? Do you mean that something is controlling them? That may very well be possible. The computer in the basement can read information from human brains. Perhaps Vincent used that device to give them certain commands? Uh, come to think of it, the documents in that basement said that N131 had low intelligence, and there was something called a BH procedure that would let them get around that. Increasing intelligence? BH plant? BH? Brain hacking? So you think that a computer can be used to control zombies? Yes. Perhaps they are simply obeying pre-programmed commands. That's their weakness. I see. So those zombies were programmed to protect a certain place and will only attack anyone who wanders into that area? I guess that having them run loose would be too dangerous for Vincent. That's right. In creating zombies, you need to have a way to control them. Without that, they would be useless as weapons. Vincent would not risk creating a biological weapon that could turn on him. So, we're safe. I'm scared. But if we're inside this safe zone, we should be alright. I hope so, but wouldn't that be too easy? Vincent might have thought of this as well. No way. So what's going to happen next? Hmm. What's going to happen next? If I were in Vincent's shoes... 
what, what was that sound? I'm scared. Did the earth just move? Did something just happen underground? I have a bad feeling about this. We should decide what we will do next and quickly. I have a really bad feeling about this. It's as if something super scary is coming our way. Yeah. Oh no! What the frick is that? Huh? What? What is that? Oh shh! Run! Into the dining hall! Oh my god! What's that? Get me out of here! Is everyone alright? This wooden door won't last very long. What's our next move, Akita? Is that thing also one of the biological weapons that we were that were developed here? What should we do? Oh, friggin' Jacob! Akita! Zombie Jacob is here too! We have to do something and fast! Oh, I almost forgot about him. What should we do? We're in dire straits. That door won't last very, very last very long either. We could risk jumping outside. No, that's not going to work. Those zombies are quick and deadly. If we go outside without a plan, we're all going to end up as zombie food. Can we somehow get their attention? What if we use Jacob as a decoy? No, he's been programmed to attack us here. He wouldn't come after us. The door is going to break. I don't like this at all. Hmm, what should we do? I have to choose now. I'll be a decoy. I'll distract them while you run away. Don't be stupid. If you become a decoy, what will happen to us if you don't survive? Do you expect us to fight Vincent? And where will we run to? Underground. The only place you can go is underground. It doesn't matter where you are at ground level, you'll eventually be cornered and killed. The only safe place left is underground. Go underground and defeat Vincent. That's the only way to survive this. I don't want to. Akita, don't be silly. I don't want to die. Don't leave me. Neneko clings to me and won't let go of my hand. Neneko, please understand. This is the only way. Uh, I don't want to. I won't let go of you. Neneko, I know how you feel, but there's no time to waste. We're all going to die. No. Huh? Nobody move. What? Rio, what are you doing? Now is not the time to be funny. Do I look like I'm trying to be funny? If you move, I'll really shoot you. Sheesh. Neneko Izumaki, listen to me very carefully. Hmm, okay. The coordinates to this island have already been entered into the device. It will automatically communicate through laser once the conditions for sending signals are met. The code that has to be set is after which the code has to be repeated with one number changed. This is a secret signal for my trusted team. Real, come on, put the gun down. Akita, do you remember what you promised me? Yeah. We'll have a drink while looking out over the Manhattan skyline. Yes, that's it. I'm looking forward to that. Real, don't be stupid. What are you talking about, Akita? You know that it has to be like this, don't you? This is the only way you can survive. Now go. That's a bummer. Real. Akita, Neneko, pick up the communication device and get behind me. The rest of you as well. We'll kick down the door and jump into the elevator. There's no time to hesitate. Got it. Real. Let's go. Neneko, enter the code for going underground. Hurry. All right. Oh my god. Real. Sacrificing yourself so that the rest of us can survive? Have you always been this brave? Real! Akita. Real glances at me and tosses me her gun. Her bloodstained mouth then whispers something. In the end, use that too. No. You can count on me, Real. I'll honor your final wish. Did she just smile? Akita, real, we left her behind. What should we do? We'll rescue her later. Won't we? Right? Neneko, you did you see what happened? Real is already. She's dead. Real, she died for us, but that's terrible. 
We're not totally sure that she's dead. She might be hiding somewhere. Real is dead. I killed her. There's nothing we can do for her. No way. Are you kidding? Akita. Akita, what do you mean you killed Real? Are you trying to blame yourself for her death? Real knew that this was the only way, and she sacrificed herself so we could live. Real's death is on all of us. We all abandoned her. But I don't want you to beat yourself up either. You made a choice that none of us could have. I couldn't have done it. It would have been too hard. So, Real, is she really dead? Why? Why? This is so horrible. Uh, Neneko, it's all right. It's all right. What? Oh my god, could this get any worse? No way! It's that thing. It followed us down here. Get down. Oh shit. Eek! Help, 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 help! No way, somebody help! I wasn't expecting to be able to avenge real so soon. That's fine by me, though. So we finally meet face to face. No way. Gunshots don't appear to harm it. Neneko, do you have any idea how to defeat this thing? The sooner you can tell me, the better. Wah! Although it is immortal from a biological point of view, you should be able to immobilize it by cutting off its head. I'm sorry, I can't think of anything better. I hope this is helpful somehow. Darn, so I have to cut off its head? What should I do? How can I even do that? Oof. Ah, Akita, are you alright? Don't worry about me. Standing here is too dangerous. We should lie down on the floor. Darn, yep, you're definitely right about that. I don't like this one bit. Watch out! Hey, ugly, you wanna fight? Come at me then, monster. I'm right over here. Come on! What are you doing, idiot? Akita, it's really going to kill you! Don't worry, I'll be fine. I've got this. Don't! Akita, you're going to die! Stop it! You can't take any more of that! Huh? What's that sound? It's getting louder! Ah? Is it? Looks like that worked. That was a close call. Akita, what just happened? I didn't see you do anything. I didn't aim at the monster. I shot the elevator cable instead. Ah, I, I see. The counterweight! Counterweight? What are you talking about? The counterweight is the mass attached at the other end of the cable that is used to counterbalance the weight of the elevator. Exactly. I shot the cable, causing the counterweight to fall. I stood here and lured him right to where the counterweight would land. Seemed like a good plan at the time. Huh, so you hit him with a strong counterpunch. That one's for real. So cutting their heads off will really stop them from moving. That might be helpful for getting out of here. Ouch. Oh no, Akita, are you alright? You're bleeding. I'll be fine. Just put a flesh wound. More importantly, we should get out of here now. It is a good thing the elevator is already underground. We should be able to get out of here by opening the door. Yes, we have to keep on moving. Alright guys. I am calling it an episode here. I'm honestly pretty... That's a gut punch. I liked Real a lot as a character, and um... It's the first time I think that one of the characters that I really liked died, so um, it sucks, but game like this, people are going to die. Uh, what are you going to do? Uh, wow. So much uh, so much is going on now, and uh, with zombies and spider monsters, you would have asked me last episode if I would have thought that was coming up. I, <laughs> I wouldn't have guessed that, so I hope you guys are enjoying the playthrough. If you are, please leave a like. Consider subscribing to the channel. I upload content like this all the time, and I will see you back soon with another video. Thank you so much for watching.